Okay, well, I'll continue where I, I left off, Minister, because the, the, the question is on the same uh, topic. And let me just further elaborate uh, the problem. You're saying the CWOs are there and you can get appointments. I'm telling you that is not the experience that is being relayed to us. Okay? It's not happening. In the old days, you could go down to the CWO without uh, any prior uh, notice and queue up to see the CWO. You can now not do that. We need to go back to face to face. Thanks, Deputy Minister. Okay, thank you. Um, well, just to say that the Community Welfare Service is committed to providing a quality service to all citizens, ensuring that applications are processed and that decisions on entitlement are made quickly. There are no backlogs at present and work on hand is within the scheme's normal processing levels. Complete applications are finalised within two weeks and there is less than two weeks work in process. Exceptional needs payments, uh, payment applications are varied and often quite complex, reflecting the individual circumstances being experienced. And it is important to note where uh, it is clear that a person has an urgent or immediate need, every effort is made to ensure that the claim is processed on the same day. Community welfare officers are very experienced and they can generally assess when a case is so urgent that it requires an immediate response. Approximately 10% of uh, community welfare service payments to customers across the country are made on this basis, which shows just how responsive the service is to an urgent customer Thanks, need. Minister, we let Deputy Wybear back in. Okay, right. Okay. Let me give you again an example. I'm just elaborating a further example. I mentioned the, the, the man with early ons onset uh, Alzheimer's who were also in a HAP arrangement where they had to pay a top-up. Before he had Alzheimer's, he was working, therefore he could make the top-up. But when he gets Alzheimer's, he can't work, can't make the top-up, is falling into arrears. With our assistance, no appointment possible, with our assistance, eventually a, a, an application that has all the bits and bobs goes in and a cheque arrives for 600 euro. But the arrears, which are not the fault of the people, but their complex circumstances are a thousand euro. Their problem's not solved. They needed to talk to an individual to explain their circumstances. And I don't blame the CWOs, because clearly they are overrun, right? But the, the problem is we need to have the staffing levels in the service that can allow people to go down to the CWO and explain these complicated circumstances and get responses which actually acknowledge the complexity, difficulty and often desperation of the situation they are in. Minister. Um, thank you, Deputy. Um, well, just to say that uh, the, co the, the community welfare officers, we all know, deal with people in a very humane and a very responsive way. There are a number of ways people can make their applications. They can call into any social welfare or intro office. They can pick up the phone and ring us. They can apply online or where they need it. They can even arrange for a member of staff to meet them in their own home. So there's, there's a number of different ways and a lot of options uh, available to people. And I don't think, uh, you know, I, I, I know the one you're talking about is a complex case, uh, but if you ring up and you ask for an appointment to see a community welfare officer, they will go to your house. That's the arrangement. Now, as I said to you earlier, Deputy, I'm happy to take those specific details and I look into that case to find out uh, uh, you know, all of the information and I'll come back to you as to why, uh, why, the, why uh, they didn't get the arrears of a thousand euros. I don't know. I, I, I can't say why they didn't get it, That's but I'm happy to look it up and to find out exactly what happened there. Deputy yeah, look, I will most certainly do that, Minister, and uh, indeed, uh, on the other case I mentioned, uh, which is also complex, I won't go over the details uh, again, but just to be clear, a woman with cancer whose husband can't turn down the heat uh, uh, and so has big bills but because she's on illness benefit, isn't entitled to fuel allowance and therefore got none of the payments, the extra payments or the fuel allowance, right? This is terrible stuff. Again, and I can tell you, the husband of that woman has been in my office 
about six or seven times saying he can't get a face-to-face -face meeting with the CWO. And I'm not criticising the CWO, because I'm sure that CWO is overrun. And you're absolutely right, they're humane people, but the problem was, once upon a time, you could go down and meet the humane person. Now, there are loads of barriers to getting meetings. And what you're describing is not how it used to be. Okay? It's changed. And in my opinion, it's not a good change. Okay. When you could go down and see the CW on the day, queue up and see them was better than what we have now. Thanks, Deputy Minister, to conclude. Uh, thank you, Deputy. Uh, well, just to say, we have increased the staff numbers. Uh, there are uh, currently uh, 74 additional staff uh, to be assigned to the Community Welfare Office. Uh, service. In the, in the interim, we assigned 30 social welfare inspectors into the service to make sure that uh, uh, the claims were dealt with speedily. And as I'm, I said to you, there's no backlog, we're down to two weeks. And I think that is, that, 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 that is fair. Uh, the other thing is, just uh, regarding online applications, and I know it won't apply to the case you're talking about, uh, I was pleased to see that when my officials went through the statistics, there were as many over 65-year-olds using the online service as there was 18 to 24-year-olds. Uh, so it just goes to show you that more and more senior citizens are going digital like the rest of us. So there are the options there. Go online, pick up the phone, call into the social welfare office, uh, or if you need it, a member of staff will go Thanks, out to you. Okay, we'll move on to...